Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. Now today we're going to be talking about Burnout. Now Burnout is a problem within EVE because EVE is one of them games that in order to get the best experience you really need to fully throw yourself into the game. Now short term this generally isn't a problem but when you start playing the game for months, years, decades then obviously this becomes a bigger and bigger issue. So over the weekend there was a post on Reddit, this guy had lost a carrier rat in and he was finding it problematic. He, he wasn't salty about losing the carrier, but he was finding it hard to get going to, to basically grind another one. And I think a good number of us have probably been there where we've lost quite an expensive ship to whatever reason, and grinding another one out doesn't seem particularly appealing. Now, I found this obviously with the Abyssal stuff. If you happen to die due to bad piloting skill, getting unlucky, or a random disconnect, then obviously having to grind for another 10 hours to get back to the place that you were at previously isn't very appealing. And that in itself is really the nature of EVE, that in order to get to the biggest ships, the blingiest ships, you, you are going to have to grind in one way or another. Now, I don't know this person, and I don't know the circumstances in regards to what they were grinding for, but a lot of people do fall into this trap that they do their best just to grind out bigger and bigger ticks and they have no real goal of what they're going to do with it they're just grinding for the sake of grinding and then obviously once you lose your ship if you're only grinding for the sake of grinding then grinding back to a position that you were at previously again isn't particularly appealing and is going to have a very demotivating effect however that's not to insinuate that just having a goal is going to help you grind to get to the position that you want to get to so I got asked a question the other day that what is it that I actually do in game and I couldn't answer the, the question initially because again it's not that straightforward so as I come towards my second decade of playing EVE that I have done many areas of the game but there are still things that I haven't tried yet now some of them goals that I'm working towards are I would like to build a Titan I'd like to get into Jump Freighter production I haven't really done anything with reactions I also like to PvP sometimes, I also like to run Abyssal sites, so there are a whole range of things that I actually do while not making videos and generally grinding out ISK per se. And I do have times when I will focus more in one area than I do another, and that's because I've just got bored of the other area. Now for instance, I was in a PvP corp not all that long ago, I did a decent amount of PvP and I got a little bored and so stopped that went back to a bit of industry. Industry at the moment isn't really doing it for me, so at the moment I'm doing Abyssal sites, and then after I've finished with Abyssal and I'm bored of that, I may go back to the industry stuff, so on and so on. So I'm always mixing it up, trying to keep it interesting and fun, but if I do find an area of the game that I'm not finding particularly interesting or engaging, then I will drop that for a little while. And I may not come back to it for, for months after I've dropped it, but eventually I'll get to the point where whatever I'm doing I'll be getting bored of and then I'll think oh I've not done X, Y or Z for a while start up again and then think oh why on earth did I stop this initially I really enjoy this and then the cycle repeats now I've said this in previous videos if you're new to the game I would encourage you to grind as much and as quickly maybe not as quickly but I would encourage you definitely to grind as much as you can in the early months years of playing the game because as the game gets further on, you'll find it harder and harder and harder to want to grind ISK. And that's because you've done it so many times in the past that it's not new and fresh anymore. And generally you're just doing it so you can do something else. And a lot of people, that is PvP, so they will rat, mine, do whatever it is in order to be able to fund their PvP habit. Now in your early days, obviously grinding out sanctums, havens, doing level 4 missions, running abyssal sites, whatever it is that floats your boat, is relatively new and again it's not that boring, you've not done several thousand of these things day after day after day, so use some of that money, put it aside and don't spend it on just bling. And that's one of the reasons I got into the industrial side because again the very nature of it is relatively passive. Now obviously it does take a bit of time moving stuff around and finding stuff that you can build etc and day by day that gets slowly harder and harder due to uh, changes from CCP but regardless the idea is still there that in order to be able to do the things I want to do I need the ISK and I need to be able to make the ISK whether that be so say passive or non-passive 
there needs to be a, a flow of ISK continuously coming in in order to be able to do the things that I want to do. And that's not to say everybody should become an industrialist. Again, find, find an area of the game that you can make semi-passive ISK from without putting too much effort in, and an area that potentially you enjoy. You know, you could do that from hauling, you could do it from reactions, you could do it from a whole host of things, whether it be hiring out, putting a station in wherever and charging people to use it, etc. There, there are loads of ways to make passive ISK. Again, you're not going to make huge amounts of ISK, but it comes in slowly but surely, and that will build upon itself over time. And the old argument that comes up time and time again is, well, if you don't enjoy grinding, just buy Plex. You'll make a lot more ISK in-game per hour just using a bit of real-life money in order to be able to fund the activities in-game that you would like to do. Now, I don't generally do it because it's a game, and I play it as a game, and part of the game is grinding ISK in order to be able to do the things that I want to do. Just going out and buying a, a Titan with um, real-life money wouldn't have, for me, any of the prestige or the fun that comes with with feeling that I've earned it and that I've I've put the time in and the effort to get there. Now, that's not to hate on anybody who actually uses Plex. Now, as I say, I've got no problems with it. More power to you if that's what you want to do. And I can understand it that, obviously, the game is very grindy, but it does take away from me that that sense of achievement and I quite like that sense of achievement which is why I wouldn't think about doing it. And so if you are experiencing burnout and you've done all these different bits and bobs to keep it interesting then don't ship up and go play something else for however long. What I would suggest is keeping the characters and the assets that you've got, don't go full tilt, selling up everything, um, liquidizing your characters etc. I've seen numerous people come back to the game over the two decades I've played that have sold the characters on only to come back to regret the fact that they've sold their character. And I've done something similar in the past when I've thought, bah, that's it, I've had enough, I don't think I'll ever be returning. Before the uh, Citadels I had a high sec boss, and it had probably about 100 billion isks worth of blueprints in it. And basically I couldn't be bothered to log in to fuel it, so I just left it. It got attacked, and the blueprints were acquired by whoever was attacking it. Now obviously, four years later, whatever come back and I don't regret it but it is one of the moments where I look back and think if only I'd literally taken the time log on a ship fly to the POS put the blueprints in the um, cargo hold and fly it back to a sh uh, station I'd still have them now so I hope that helps a little and again I think one of the things that's kept me here so long is Eve has lots of depth to it on the surface it's a relatively easy game but, you know, when you start looking into it proper, there's a whole abyss that you can fall into in regards to content, etc. So just confining yourself to doing just the one thing over and over again is undoubtedly going to get boring sooner or later. And that just by exploring other avenues. Now, I'm exploring avenues so say, that I haven't done prior in game. Now, I think building a jump freighter is going to be hellish. I think there's going to be an awful lot of hauling involved. And I'm not looking particularly forward to it, to be honest, but I'm going to do it regardless, just so I can say I've built a jump freighter. And they might come to that point where I actually think, well, actually, I quite enjoyed that, and I'll do it again and again and again and again until I get bored. But the point is, yes, I don't think I'm going to particularly enjoy it, but I've never done it. And until I've done it, I can't say whether I will or not. Again, it's a pre-perceived conception, but I'm not going to enjoy it. So I'm going to set that as a challenge for myself to something to do and whether to say I end up doing more of it afterwards remains to be seen but I won't know until I've tried it. So I hope that's helped, I hope that's given you some ideas and some variations of things to think about and that if you are finding whatever it you, you're doing is getting stale then look at other aspects of the game, you're not stuck having to do just one thing. Yes skills do play an important factor but to do a lot of the things now, the skills have been watered down so much that you can do it within a couple of weeks at very most. Or you can use free skill points in order to get the vast majority of the stuff that you actually want or need to be able to do. So this has been recorded on the new microphone, so if you've got any feedback in regards to how it sounds etc, then please let me know. If you've made it this far into the video and haven't subscribed, then please do think about it. It's very much appreciated. And again, any comments, etc., in regards to what you do in order to avoid burnout, etc., or, you know, if you have sold a character and have come back in the past, 
um, let us know how that's gone for you and whether, so say, your general experience with it. So thanks for your time. Fly safe. Talk to you later.